Well, as the story continues to unfurl about uh, the proceedings with the Sefton Group today in the Isle of Man, I'm joined by the chairman of the group, Sir Miles Walker. Good afternoon. What can you tell us that we haven't already heard about this story and, and your company, that you're the chairman of, of the Sefton Group, getting into the situation it is in? Well, um, the world has changed in the last five years, and I think everybody would recognise that. And um, trading is much, much tighter now. And, and the banks have a different attitude to that they held in five years ago, five or six years ago. Um, when I took over as chairman, um, I made it very clear at our, and at our first annual general meeting and the, the, the following two, that top thing on our agenda was a rebanking, a de-gearing de of the group, um, getting down to a financial situation that was affordable and which gave us the incentive and, and possibility of driving the business forward because we think it's a very good business. Let's take the timeline right back then. Mr Ferguson Lacey, before you, was in charge. Can you sum up how he was running the company and you know, what went wrong at that stage? Because it, it appears to be at that stage that trouble started to yes. appear. I mean, my, my predecessor, uh, Mr Lacey, um, was quite a, um, an aggressive businessman and saw lots of potential and the banks were dishing out money quite honestly they were um, offering um, very cheap loans at that at that time and and uh, Mr Ferguson Lacey saw the Sefton Group as a vehicle in which he could do um, various various things and when I took over as chairman the world was changing or had changed and um, Mr Ferguson Lacey had gone sick and um, he subsequently left the board um, we put in a new chief executive, Mr. Martin, mm. whose deputy, Mark Lewin, um, was with us for a few years. And between them, um, they, they came up with a, a different way forward. Uh, the board was supportive of that. And uh, so at our first in, in general meeting, um, I made it very cl clear to the shareholders that we were going to change direction. Wow. We were going to de-gear. We were going to back, go back to our, our core business. But there has been a spat. Which is running the, the, the Sefton Hotel. Yes. But there has been a spat, hasn't there, with Mr Ferguson Lacey. The, the, the Sefton group has fallen out with him, hasn't it? Not, it was there not a... a well, well the, Mr Ferguson Lacey, Lacey um, left the group and um, there was some debt owing. Um, we went to court to try and clear that. Um, the court found in our favour and that matter is now with the coroner. As I understand, there are other people as well. So you haven't got the money back? So we haven't got the money back. That would help you, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, £300,000 is helpful in any, um, in, yes, any in, in any situation, but it's... It's, it's not a lot. No. I mean, £96 million pounds, um, was, was the debt in 2009 um, or thereabouts. We've, we've reduced that by uh, £40 million, so it's... it's Yesterday it stood at sort of 56. And have you done that? Have you and, sold and, off assets? And, and now it's down to 24. Have you been selling off assets? We've been, se we've been selling off assets when the opportunities are rising. Um, but again, the environment has been a difficult one for that to happen. And uh, so the market has not been um, as open as it, as, as, it, as it was. But there's been a selling off of assets. There's been a reorganisation of, of the debt from time to time. And, and we've managed to reduce it by, as I said, £40 million. And, and, and this last reorganisation will reduce the debt further by another £32 million. But you so couldn't do significant it... Significant money. But you couldn't do it without the government coming in today with this announcement. Well, what, what government have done is given us um, an exceptional, exceptional assistance. Um, we had the reorganisation of the Financial Palace Hotel um, Organised, and we had um, funders in in place to take over from Lloyd's, who have been our funders so far. What um, the deal with government does is sell the Middlemarch site to government, which adds to their um, control of the town centre sites. Um, but the the my company, the Sefton Hotel Group, has an opportunity to repurchase at any time within the next five years, um, and it's leased back to us so we can manage it on behalf of government for the next five years if we don't, um, don't find it the right time to build. And what about all these other assets? I mean, the Castle Mona, I mean, you, this is 
these things that you, know, you yeah. own which aren't doing anything for you at the moment at Absolutely. all. I mean, there's a potential maybe of something in the horizon there. But well, I, I hope there is. I hope there is. I mean, the Casa Mona was, was bought with the view to having a five-star hotel, a really upmarket hotel. And when it was purchased, the environment seemed to be right for that sort of business. And that has changed. I mean, we've got some very high quality suites here in the Sefton. Not a lot, but we have a number of them. And, and they seem to be able to fill that market demand. So it became clear to us that a, a whole hotel set up for that sort of business um, just, just wasn't going to be workable. And so we looked at the Castle Mona as part of a development of the Palace Hotel site, even when the Palace um, is moved to a, a town centre site and look to see if it could be incorporated into that overall development and there's a possibility for that. Um, but again the environment changed and, and, and the opportunity for moving from the site where the Palace Hotel is on now to a town centre site um, this was put back for a myriad of reasons and so um, that development will still take place in due course but not until the hotel has been relocated. Okay. So Mars, we'll leave it there for this moment. There'll be more in our next section.